Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the birthday girl, Keiko. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. Guys, I'm really excited because it's my birthday and I love that birthday. I'm like one of those odd people that really like their birthday. Like some people don't like to celebrate their birthday, but Keiko <laughs> is the complete opposite. She is like wearing a t-shirt that says, it's my birthday. No, I'm not. I actually love the idea of kind of using this as a pivoting moment to share some really important information with you guys. You know what I mean? It's like, this has been the first block of her life. First 25 years. I know, that's a lot. That's why I really wanted to make this vlog because I feel like it's like really special. Like 25, that's really scary, but it's also exciting, kind of. So at the moment right now, we're filming this, she is actually not 25. So I'm gonna cry. I know I'm gonna cry during this vlog because I already have tears in my eyes and I have no idea why. I think I'm so excited, not sad. So let's start right here. I'm trying to do this so that like a year from now we can go back and like compare your results at this point to like where you're at in a year. Okay. And then like maybe we'll start something. How many YouTube subscribers do you have right now? Like 130,000. <laughs> That's awesome. How many Instagram followers do you have right now? 200,000. How many TikTok followers do you have right now? 1.5 million. Okay, if you could have gotten married like in six months, would you have? Like last six months? No, like the first six months of our relationship. Oh, when we first started yeah, dating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but I mean, that does make a cool love story. Isn't that your parents' love story? Yeah, that, that's true, but not every love story. It could have been ours, but you played. <laughs> do you feel like you spent the first 25 of your years like, well, Ever since I met you, yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is how we're gonna do this. Yeah, I think I did. Like, I had ups and downs and, you know, the whole shipping. But I love my <laughs> life. <laughs> and I love it right now. So yes, I think for most of my life, I like. Well, everybody has their moments. <laughs> All right, so, take up. Yes. How old are you turning? Five. That's how old I was, I was turning. But I'm turning 25, <laughs> unfortunately, only five years to 30. If you guys watched Noah's vlog last year, everyone in the comments came at me because I said I'm old and I was turning 24, and now I'm turning 25 and I feel really old. I'll be honest with you, I've been 25 for a second, and as a vet of 25, you do feel kind of old. But you're turning 26, so. <laughs> Don't go there, bro. All right, second one. Why is it a big deal to you that you're turning 25? <laughs> one year closer to being married. Okay. <laughs> okay. We're gonna save those questions for a little bit longer into this. Okay. We're gonna. We're not gonna run. Sh we're not gonna jump the gun here. Okay. And now we're gonna take a quick Christmas break. And y'all know I love Christmas. Emmy loves Christmas. And last night we actually had a sleepover. And literally at like 1:30 in the morning, Emmy was like, "What if we went and got hot chocolate tomorrow?" And so we are keeping our word and going to get hot chocolate to start the holiday season. And I thought it would be a great time to talk about one of the apps that helps me especially with inflation going on I know a lot of us have to cut back on our spending but I got you covered because the app upside actually gives you cash back when you go to those places and purchase something so all you have to do is download the free upside app on the App Store or Google Play and then all you do is open up the app check in at that business that you're going to so right now we are actually going to Dunkin Donuts all you do is claim pay as you normally would and then you actually just get the cash back also it's super 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 easy to get your money back. You can cash out anytime with PayPal, your bank account, or an e-gift card to Amazon and other brands. Upside earners are earning more than a million dollars back per week, which explains their 4.8 rating on the App Store. If you guys want to try it out and get a hot chocolate like me and Emmy are right now, you can download the free Upside app and use code Kristen Marino for five dollars or more cash back when you spend ten dollars or more. Y'all will not regret this app. It's my favorite app. I got Emmy on it, so definitely go check it out. What has has been the greatest moment of your first chapter? I'm considering the first 25 years your first chapter. Some of the greatest moments was, first of all, just growing up with my mom. Like I have to add my mom into this because she's my favorite person in the world. She just always made my life so special. She took us traveling. She'd always make sure like we were fed and she loved us so much and I'm gonna get emotional because I love my mom so much, but she made it so special. Now I'm crying. <laughs> yeah, but it's good tears. It's a good thing. <laughs> I love my mom so much. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> Come on. So <laughs> She's so awesome. I can say from experience, uh, just knowing Katrina, like that girl, she loves unconditionally. It doesn't matter who you are, like when you step into her house, you're one of her children. And uh, she's always been that way to me, but like I can't even imagine growing up in a house with a mom like that. Oh my gosh. Your mom's awesome too. Yeah, my mom is awesome too. Don't get it wrong. My mom's a superhero. Moms should just like have the power to just like breathe so much life into your kids. Like, I don't know. I think you're gonna be like that one day. Yeah. 
Take up. Okay, but also other things. You came into my life, which is really special. I got to work for Disney, which was one of my dreams. Got to live with my friends. I got Pippi and Corduroy and all my other dogs. There's just so many amazing things that have happened. I can't complain about my life. Like, we're going to London soon. We went to Hawaii this last year, and I just, I love life. And I got to meet you guys, which is really special. And I got to step into social media, which has been awesome and a dream of mine. If you guys know, I did YouTube when I was like seven years old. <laughs> if this video gets 10,000 likes, we're gonna dig into the archive. We're gonna find that video and we're gonna post it. Wait, but also, I got saved. I got a relationship with God. So life <laughs> is really, really great. That actually leads me to my next question. Like, how has your mental state changed over the last 25 years? Because I like know like it's been really cool to say the way that you've grown. And like I know that you struggle with anxiety, and I know that a lot of that was attached to the fact that you lost your dad in 9-11. I feel like this question is to set you up for success, but also to set them up for success because like a lot of people struggle with that. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, when I was three and a half years old, I lost my dad. He was a firefighter in September 11th. He responded in the attacks and we lost him that day. And so ever since then, I struggled a lot with anxiety and attachment to my mom. And it's something that has affected my life. I know like when I moved here, I spent my whole first year living in Florida at home because I just had so much anxiety and I still do. But ever since I found God and really truly dove deep into my relationship with him, my anxiety has gone away a lot. I won't say it's all gone because I'm still a growing person. I'm still working on it every single day. Yeah. But I would say like majority of it did leave, which is awesome. And I hope in 25 more years, it's all gone. It was really cool to see the way that she changed. And also it was like a lot of like walls that we had to break down. I think like the biggest thing for me was fully trusting Noah before I went there with some of the things I hadn't told him yet. She was like, she was like I'm not showing you all my crazy. No, because not when, all my crazy. No, because when you have anxiety, <laughs> sometimes like you think crazy things. Like it's not that I didn't trust Noah, but like I always felt like I would be judged. And like it took me a while to like be like, oh, Noah's not gonna judge me. Just make and create like a safe environment for your girlfriend or your boyfriend or whatever to be able to open up to you. Because that was the biggest thing for me. So moving on to something really, really fun is, are you ready for this next chapter of your life and our lives together? Crickets. <laughs> of course. <I'm> shocked. <laughs> no, of course. Bro, crickets. <laughs> yeah, I'm super excited. I feel like I'm getting older one year closer to being married and having kids one day and traveling. Just like, I feel like it's more exciting and also like just like career wise and like checking off things that I want to do and like the future things that will come within the next year is really exciting. Even Corduroy, like he's going to grow this next year and it's going to be fun to see him come into his personality and like how everything is going to go. Like I have no idea, but it's really exciting. Even like looking back at myself and like my fitness goals from last year, it's crazy how much has changed and like how much you like realize has changed and sometimes you don't realize that until you like take a step back and watch last year's vlog and you're like, wow. Wow, that's crazy. Like you're kind of a different person. I mean, I wouldn't say that, but I mean, I'm trying. I mean, I definitely see a huge change in Cake Up. Like even if you go watch some of our early vlogs together, like what's really cool about us is we've like documented the entire story, even from when we were just friends. And so like getting to watch not only your fitness journey, because like that's really cool, but like watching like our relationship journey. That's my favorite part. You know what I mean? Like there's so many good elements, like getting to go back and watch those different like pivotal moments where you could just see like what we wanted it to be, but we weren't there yet. It's just like really cool. Even this will be one of those moments that we look back on like a year from now. Yeah. But like that's life and that's what makes life so much like, fun. I wonder what the questions we'll ask next year. Like you just like don't know like what next like this year is gonna hold, like where we'll go, like what will happen, like yeah. who will enter the house, like who knows? Someone could have enter the immersed house and we don't know yet. Like, like you just don't know. No, you really don't. It's pretty crazy. Only God knows. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of change, what do you hope changes in this next chapter of your life? Well, um, maybe merch. <laughs> I think I've been saying this the last oh three my Guys, I know, I'm a perfectionist and I just can't figure it out. Like, that's just the honest truth everyone asks me. And I literally just, like, cannot figure it out. And it's been my dream to do it. And I just haven't felt like it was the right time. And, like, I don't want to just put something out to put something out and not be proud of it. I think she needs to get past that plagued with perfectionism vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like a lot of people have that. That's why, like, for me, I would rather put out something that's trash and get going than to put out something that's, like, absolutely perfect when I'm dead. So besides merch and potentially moving into the next chapter, of our relationship what do you feel like is something you want to accomplish in this next chapter of your life like the next 25 years of your life what are the big things that you hope to accomplish so 
I love working and I love where I'm heading, but I'm also like a big lover of kids. <laughs> and no, like some people's goals are like huge career goals and that's awesome, like I know that's noticed. But my huge goal in life is to be a mom, like, and that's not bad. No, I think it's all. amazing. Like I'm so excited for that part of my life. Like I literally played babies until I was 13. Like <laughs> I'm not even joking, like my mom still has my babies. But to include you guys in it, I would love one of my biggest dreams is to have a family channel where we can still show our relationship, but also our relationship with our kids. Hopefully, maybe one day, uh, you know, build our dream house. I think that's like one of my big things. I've always dreamt up of houses. I don't really dream about weddings as much as like I do like building my dream house and like the places I'll travel with my future husband. So yeah. that's definitely something that I'm super, super excited for. But also, hopefully, next year when we're watching this, my mom lives in Florida. That's another big thing that I'm really hoping for and praying for. Like, every single night but other than that like emmy's here you're here like i have everyone here oh maybe go on some cruises i love cruises and we haven't been on one so that would be a lot of fun that would be absolutely sick i can't even wait to go back on cruises i'm a big cruise guy so me too so like that's just it like just like doing life with the people i love i guess okay so in the last 25 years of your life because i think this will add a lot of value to people and i think that it just shows like a different side of you Mm -hmm. What is the biggest mountain that you feel like you've overcome? Um, I mean, I want to say like it's probably anxiety like literally I mean, I'm not gonna say I fully overcome it because I really didn't but I would say that and like also Intertwine with like relationships because in my past like I had one boyfriend before Noah and it took me like a lot And I would say like to get over him But because I never had a father figure I was like attached in a different way And so that like really paid like a toll on me I guess like realizing that like people are meant to come and go not always everyone's here to stay and like getting over that even in friendships and stuff like i feel like it's just like a breath of fresh air and i would definitely say that with god and stuff it's so much easier because all you have to do is rely on him and Dang. follow what he's saying one of the things that i think she doesn't even see in herself is the fact that like one of the biggest mountains she's overcome is she has become a leader like really 100 percent. like even in like this moment right here like hearing the way that you talk about like your previous mistakes is so encouraging to people who may be going through it at any point in life and so it's like watching you speak here like i'm like watching you but i'm like not listening to you at the same time because like i thought you were judging me like kick up why are you talking about your old relationship no not at all i mean like if it adds value to them i could care less we can talk about whatever yeah. you know what i mean like i know you your heart for me and I think that like these next 25 years if I had to say a mountain that I think you're going to overcome it's taking it from the camera to actually going out and reaching people in person through meet and greets through stages through different like outlets that you have even fashion like I feel like you're gonna reach the world and, and cause so much encouragement because like so few people have such a special story like such an impactful clear straightforward story and I just like know that God and, like if you have a story like that I feel this for you too like God wants to use you as a testament to like what he can do in someone's life and all you have to do is step up to the plate. And like, I feel like you're already doing that. And it's been like a slow, like gradual, like behind the scenes thing. Like you've just been talking to a camera, right? Yeah. But you have no idea there are thousands of people that are like listening to this word that you are giving right now and it's changing their life. It's like literally so crazy. That's the definition of a leader. So that's pretty cool. I want to go back to this years, months from now, whenever it is, yeah. and like talk about this and maybe even use this clip in future things. So I want to say this. What are some places that you have haven't visited that you'd like to visit or have visited that you want to visit again? Paris. Okay. We made a deal though. We would only go to Paris if we were married. Um, I feel like we want to go to Greece because everybody else has gone to Greece and like if everybody's going, there's gotta be something cool, right? But yeah, <laughs> I think Paris is my first one. Yeah. And then also just like a cruise with Noah. And then maybe my last one is Japan, but that has to be with you and my mom because my mom used to live there and that's her dream. So I would love to take my mom to Japan. Hiccup's mom is like a wonder. Like she like will all of a sudden just break out into Japanese and like she's got the whole like, like speaking from your diaphragm thing too. It's like amazing. She's no, like, I oh. love, yeah, I love taking her to Epcot <laughs> in Disney World and taking her to Japan because she just interacts with all the cast members and like speaks Japanese and it's so fun to watch. This is my last question. Does this mean you're ready to have kids? <laughs> What does, does what mean? Being 25, stepping into second chapter. I mean, I totally could have kids. I do see how I interact. I don't want to know if you're physically capable of kids. No, okay? I think this is my truthful answer. I feel like, yes, I could be ready, but also no, because I really, really, really want to take like a few years and travel with Noah, like after we're married. I could wait. Like I always thought I would want kids right away. And then not going to lie, I watched someone recently get pregnant, very young. And I was like, dang, now that I'm actually in a relationship, because like before when I was 
realizing that I wasn't in a relationship, but like I want that time with Noah and I always hear like can't travel as much with kids and stuff. So I definitely want to go see the world and really dive deep into that, but also be young mom. You know? It's that balance. Timeline is running out. You know, we're we're God's timing, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so what are you gonna do with the rest of your day? You big 25 year old almost person? Well, that's tomorrow, so. That's I, why I said almost person. Well, I really have no idea what I'm doing because my mom usually is here, I mean with me. So not really sure, but I'm sure it'll be fun whatever we do because I'm the life of the party, what can I say? <laughs> Okay. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with the rest of the day. We'll see you guys soon. Love you guys. <laughs>